Um, I gotta talk about my Aunt Joyce. Uh, she was uh, born uh, Marilyn Joyce Howes, and she was born on, um, I'm talking about her now because her, her birthday was actually yesterday. As I'm taping this, it's like it was yesterday, but I couldn't do the videos yesterday because of all the noise outside. So anyway, uh, she was born on uh, April 24th, 1926. And uh, she passed away uh, way too way too young on uh, October 21st, 1973. Um, she um, she was the firstborn. Uh, my grandmother had two kids with uh, with uh, Oscar House, and um, one was you know it's like the first she was firstborn, and she was born Marilyn Joyce House. Uh, you know she was you know she always went by Joyce. Um, uh, it's like I don't know that anybody ever really called her Marilyn. The interesting thing is, is like when she was, um, when she was uh, growing, you know, when she was a young woman and everything, everybody thought she was like, looked like actually Marilyn Monroe. So it's kind of interesting that her name was Marilyn too. So anyway, here's a couple of pictures. This is um, her and her husband, David. This is her second husband, David Cowie. And uh, that's actually in front of our house. And um, I don't think, there, is there a year on here? Yes, it is. It's like November 1957. And so they, they bought the house in uh, January of uh, 56. So, and actually they, they got, it's like she met him. He was in the Navy. Uh, Nate, his name was David Cowie. And um, she, uh, she had two kids with him, um, uh, J uh, James and Laura. Um, and uh, uh, she, uh, you know, it's like it, she was, uh, I think I mentioned before she was plagued with polio. She got polio when she was, I think, around 10 years old, and, but it never stopped her from doing anything. It's like, uh, I actually have a picture of her riding horses. She did horseback riding. She did everything, rode on the back of motorcycles and stuff, and yeah, this is her. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, that's my, um, uh, I, that's a cousin. I don't know who it is on the other horse. It's like he looks really familiar, but I, you know, he's a Bowen or somebody in the Fowler uh, side of the family. And the little kid, the little boy there, that's my older brother, Sam. And so I just thought it was an interesting, you know, photo. I kind of blew it up and printed it out. But uh, yeah, so she, um, uh, she, she had polio, but nothing ever held her back or anything. So you would never know. And she was absolutely beautiful. She's just a, a gorgeous woman. Um, she did not, she was married before a uh, first time, you know, it's like, uh, I was talking to my cousin Laura and she didn't seem to know, you know, she didn't really know anything about her first husband. She didn't talk about him. All I can do is piece together some stories. His name was Roy Parshall. Um, he was born in, uh, 1913 and then he died in, I think, 1955. Um, and he was a jackass. Um, he had, uh, he had been married previously. He was 13 years older than, than uh, my aunt, and he was um, 12, 13 years old, something older. And uh, he had two sons, um, and, uh, uh, you know, it's like there were stories my mother said a couple times that he used to be, beat my, my aunt up, and my aunt has just, was she, she was such a good person. It's like, you know, it's like, and you just don't beat on women anyway, so. They apparently went, they went through a lot of, they, they, from what I understand, the, you know, little pieces of information they got, they had, uh, uh, you know, the divorce was pretty, you know, like uh, traumatizing and everything, but she did get a divorce from him. Um, and he went back, the interesting thing is I found out some information from my bio dad, he actually went back with him to, um, to Michigan when my uh, when my parents split up I think they they all went back to Michigan you know he, the two of them went back to Michigan and uh, they actually took the, this horse candy with them uh, you know a Palomino that uh, the Fowler family uh, took you know had uh, and they and that horse lived to be in like 33 years old and I actually did see the horse one time when I was out there in 1964 I think um, yeah, so they still had the horse. Uh, so anyway, they um, uh, anyway, so they uh, they went back east, and the it, weird thing is, is that uh, Roy Parshall, um, uh, he uh, he he passed away. You know, it's like they went through this nasty divorce and everything, and, and he passed away like in 1955, like a year or two later. You know, after they broke up, they, he passed away. I don't know from what. I think he was 42 years old, and. Um, and I don't really know anything about him. There's a, a you know, I did run across the picture, of, you know, which I'm pretty sure is him. I, I put it up on Find a Grave, but I, you know, it's like there might be a couple more pictures of him. It's just the same thing as what, like with my bio dad. It's like they, uh, 
Uh, my mother really didn't have any pictures of him. I did end up with photos of my dad, but uh, um, later on, but uh, I didn't have, you know, it's like uh, she didn't keep any pictures of him. Anyway, this is a picture of my, my aunt. It's like, and then my aunt got, you know, remarried, you know, did get remarried, like I said, it's like uh, to David. And, um, and then David Cowie, and they had two kids, and they were really happy together. You know, unfortunately, she passed away from uh, uh, pneumonia. She had walking pneumonia. She actually went into the hospital, and they didn't really diagnose her as having pneumonia. And, like, she came back from the hospital, and, like, a day or two later, she had pa she passed away. You know, so it's like, and it was really hard on, it was hard on, you know, David, of course, but it was very hard because she had still had, her kids were still rather young, so it was very hard on them. Um, and the, you know, this is Aunt Joyce, my Aunt Joyce. I just scanned this recently. I don't know when this was taken. I'm thinking this was like 1950s. Um, and uh, so um, that's, you know, so, and for a while she was, uh, they, um, I remember early on, she, it's like they lived in San Diego in the early part of the relationship. And there's like, we got pictures of her. They lived in a mobile home down in San Diego because he was in the Navy. Um, he was a sailor. And uh, there's, you know, um, you know, stories of, you know, her, the, them and the sailors and everything. And eventually he got out of the state, uh, got, you know, got out of the Navy. And um, he, I can't remember what he did for a living. I think it had to do with plumbing or something. So it's like plumbing or, or, or not, not this plumbing, some kind of um, machine work or something, machine shop work. So anyway, um, that's, that's it for right now on Joyce. And uh, she's. I know her family still misses her, her daughter still misses her.